Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and you're watching Animated Biology with Urban. In this video, let us understand the clinical picture of breast cancer. Now, breast cancer is a cancer that forms in the cells of the breast and after skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in the women of United States. Now, breast cancer can be in males as, as well as females. But so far, it is way more common in women than men. Now, what are the symptoms of breast cancer? Now the symptoms of breast cancer include a painless lump that you can feel during taking a shower in a moment of intimacy or while looking at your breast in the mirror and there can be also certain skin changes like puckering or dimpling or certain ulcers on the skin. Most of the times the symptom of the breast cancers are painless and trivial and this leads to a delayed diagnosis in breast cancer. So it is highly recommended that whenever you feel a lump, even if it is painless or some trivial skin change or change in architecture of the breast, you should go and consult a doctor as soon as possible. Now how we diagnose a breast cancer? Now first the doctor takes a patient's history and aims to look for the risk factors of breast cancer. The risk factors include the age, the prior breast disease and radiation exposure history, the history of estrogen and contraceptive exposure the use of alcohol and obesity alcohol and presence of obesity and age of menarche and menopause and the age of first life birth and duration of breastfeeding then the doctor performs a clinical examination which includes inspection that is looking at the breast and palpation that is filling the breast with hand now inspection the doctor inspects the breast the skin over the breast the nipple areola complex that is a pigmented area around the nipple the axilla that is under arms and in palpation, the doctor feels for the temperature and any pain in the breast, which is known as tenderness. The doctor looks at the number and dimension of the lumps, if present, the margin and consistency of the lumps, that is whether the lump is soft, hard or firm, and the fixity of the lump to the skin or the underlying muscles of the chest. Now, once clinical examination and patient history is over, the doctor sends the patient for radiological investigation. Now, radiological investigations include an ultrasonography or USG, a mammography which is a type of x-ray and MRI. If you don't know about USG and mammography, I would suggest you to check out the videos on our channel where we have de explained in detail the concept of USG and mammography. Now, this radiological investigations are interpreted using a system known as BIRADS, that is breast imaging reporting and data system. Now, based on this BIRADS data, the doctor again sends you to a pathological examination. What is that? It can be a fine needle aspiration cytology or known as FNAC, which is a cytopathology technique. That means doctors in the operation theater takes out some pieces of cells from your breast lump and examine, and examine it under microscope to see for cancerous changes. Or it can be a core needle biopsy, which is a histopathology. That means the doctors take out a piece of breast tissue or the breast lump tissue and examine that under microscope. Now, these three investigations help the doctor to diagnose the breast cancer. Now, sometimes an immunohistochemistry is also performed, which tells the doctor about the receptors present on the surface of the cancer cells of your breast. Now, based on that, they can target the cancer therapy. And this is the basis of something known as a targeted breast cancer therapy. Now, breast cancer treatment includes different modalities and depends on the histo histological type or immunohistochemical type of the breast cancer, the severity of the disease, the patient's profile, that means the age, uh, the race, socioeconomic status and affordability of the treatment. Now, the mainstay of uh, treatment is mostly surgery, which can include a mastectomy, that is removal of the entire breast, or a lumpectomy, that is removal of the lump, a breast conservation surgery, or a breast oncoplastic surgery. Now, apart from that, you can go for radiotherapy, chemotherapy or immunotherapy or even targeted therapies and hormonal therapies. Now, which one is suited for you will be decided by the doctor after performing all these investigations that we discussed now. Now, I hope you have understood this concept well. If you have understood that, please go and check out the Instagram and Facebook page of Animated Biology with Arpan to get high quality notes and flashcards for free. The link is in the description box below. Also, you can support our channel so that we can continue to make high quality educational content for free by subscribing to us on Patreon. And you can also use the super thanks icon to support our channel which is present on the bottom right corner of this very video. And you can use Paytm 
PayPal or UPI to pay us. If you wish to connect with Arpan of our animated biology with Arpan, the social media links are given in the description box below. And for medicine related content, you can follow me, the Nerd Medic, on my YouTube channel and you can get in touch with me through my phone number, Insta handle, Facebook handle and my email ID. The links will be again given in the description box below. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.